My name's Brandon Hartman, and I'm an associate in Charleston, West Virginia with Spillman Thomas and Battle. My primary practice areas are in our real estate and uh, intellectual property groups. Today, I wanted to take a short time to talk about NFTs. NFT is short for non-fungible token. They're a form of crypto-based technology that allows for creation and exchange of unique digital goods, a prime example of which can be digital art. Really though, they can allow for digitization of any number of unique items, digital real estate, digital houses, popular memes and GIFs, videos, all of these have been created. The term for this is minting the NFT. And once minted, that NFT can be sold and purchased, usually on one of a number of dedicated e-marketplaces, which have been created for this purpose, and then can be either held for collection or investment. Brandon, Hugh, Hugh here. Uh, wait, so wait a minute, um, digital real estate? I mean, we can come back to that. Are you saying that investments in art, photos, symbols, real estate or whatever, there are no physical representations? Um, so uh, no restrictions to copies? And since it's digital or basically identical to the original? Well, that's correct, you. In this way, an NFT is akin to a certificate of authenticity, stating that that digital art that you now own is one of a kind and, in fact, the original. This facilitates creation of a collectible marketplace, such as the market that exists for baseball cards. The NFT or NFTs may be created as a wholly unique one of one or as a limited run in a numbered series. And many of the NFTs that are currently dominating the headlines and have the fancy of the public are of the one of one variety. Famous digital artists either have created entirely new works to sell as NFTs or they're minting using the original digital file of prior works. But with a baseball card, I have a card. Um, where's the value here? Well, the value is in much the same way as any other collectible or desirable item. It is what the market sets. Many NFTs are digital art in one form or another. So the natural comparison is to look at the values of real world art. Really though, it's just about like anything else, art, stocks, real estate. The value is in the eyes of the beholder. However, there is also the added wrinkle that NFTs rely on digital currency. Most are currently based on the technology underlying the Ether cryptocurrency. And volatility in that underlying digital currency will further cause volatility in the NFT themselves. These factors can all combine to cause wild fluctuation in the value for an NFT. Brandon, this sounds a lot like a modern version of the Dutch tulip bubble in the 17th century, but at least then investors actually had tulip bulbs. Well, in many ways, that is a very apt analogy. In the early 1600s, the Dutch tulip market saw a rapid increase in popularity and desirability for their product. The rarest and most desirable of the bulbs eventually reached prices that were several times the annual wages of even the most highly skilled of artisan workers. As prices for these desirable and limited bulbs rose, so too did demand in prices of the moderately desirable and then even the inferior bulbs. Future options to purchase were exchanged repeatedly at ever-increasing prices on bulbs that were still in the ground. Only receipts or market slips were ever held by these would-be investors. Tulip bulb values went to unsupportable highs over time and then collapsed in a short amount of weeks. Desirability of and interest in NFTs of certain famous digital works is currently driving interest and demand for nearly any NFT imaginable. The current volatility in NFT values is much the same as existed with those Dutch tulips. Also, the purchaser of an NFT doesn't get the benefit of owning a physical item, only a digital certificate of authenticity and perhaps a digital file of the NFT itself. Many times the NFT itself is hosted on a third party site, however. Brandon, I, I'm not following this. So where is the value? Like, how do you monetize or exit the investment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how do I get cash back for holding, oh, that's the wrong term, owning, uh, not exactly right. How do you turn an NFT into a cash profit? Well, there are currently a number of host websites which serve as marketplaces for buying and selling NFTs. Long established auction houses such as Sotheby's and Christie's have also held auctions for NFTs of digital art, which have sold for tens of millions of dollars. 
this is outside the norm by a wide margin though. Basically the goal here is the same as with any other investment, buy low, sell high. However, as with the wider area of crypto, there can be frequent and large swings in value with little or no explanation or warning. Therefore, NFTs are best viewed as a high risk investment. All right, so tell us again in language a 10 year old could understand, what is an NFT and how does it work? Well, Risa, NFTs are like a digital certificate of authenticity associated with a particular piece of digital art. They show that the underlying digital art is a one of one or a numbered item in a limited run or series. And therefore that NFT can give real value to the digital art it's associated with in much the same way as a Monet or a rare baseball card. The blockchain chain technology associated with the NFT enables this by creating a chain of title from owner to owner, allowing for verification of authenticity and ownership simultaneously. So, what are the specific legal ramifications of this? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that's where this can get a little complicated. Can get a little complicated? Well, many of the issues are based in copyright. For one thing, ownership of an NFT does not imply full ownership of the legal rights to that associated work. Therefore, holding the NFT will not grant control of the underlying work, as with the copyright, to that same work. You cannot simply purchase an NFT of the popular online image, video, or other digital art and expect to control sale and dissemination of the art. That's obvious with real estate, but also this is similar to traditional art in the real world. You may own an original Rothko, but his estate still holds the rights to reproduce and sell copies of that painting. Purchasing an NFT on one of the online marketplaces usually does not convey the copyright. If a specific sale of an NFT is in process, however, you certainly consider can consider if purchasing the underlying copyright is important to you. Also, NFTs contain technology referred to as smart contracts, which are built into the blockchain of the NFT. These smart contracts can be programmed to provide for any number of desired functions, but the primary use at current is to facilitate a commission fee of 10% to be reserved to the creator at each and every sale of that NFT. This has been a matter of debate recently. To what extent should an artist be rewarded for later rises in value, sometimes as many hundreds or thousands of times the original sale price? Whatever side of the argument you favor, it is important to understand that most NFTs contain technology to account for this to the benefit of the artist. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks.